Even, even the RetroPie people agree. By default, Emulation Station looks pretty ugly. You can fix that. In this video, we're gonna check out Emulation Station themes. It used to be back in the day that everyone liked track mode because of the wheels and it just looked like an arcade. And Emulation Station has gone a long way in the last few years. And now we just have hundreds of custom themes. A lot of these are accessible with a stock install of uh, RetroPie. So we're gonna go ahead and go through some of those stock ones and I'll also show you some additional ones I've seen other people make. Uh, big shout out to the community I know Hursty himself has been a big contributor to all this. Um, it led into the bezel project. There's been so many uh, just great, great um, visual effects and visuals added to the emulation station experience over the years. It's just, it's mind boggling and they deserve a lot of credit. That being said, some of my fans ask, hey, you know, check out some of these new themes. What's up with them? What do we have? So let's just do a quick rundown of some of the most common and, and some of the uncommon, more newer themes out there. So I want to start out on the GitHub for RetroPie. Um, these um, have all been kind of vetted through the RetroPie process. The problem with that is they're a little slow as far as adding some. And then my understanding is, you know, if somebody makes a new theme, they have to submit it to RetroPie, and then the RetroPie people have to add it to their GitHub. So then you can, you know, log into your Pi and get these. Um, speaking of logging into your Pi, all you have to do is connect your Pi, Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, um, connect it to the internet, go over to your RetroPie setup, configuration and tools, and go to ES themes. It might be somewhere else depending on your image, but um, you want to get to ES themes, emulation station themes. And uh, once you're there, you can uh, download more uh, themes. You can update your theme gallery. You probably want to do that first, which will update it to the latest so you can have access to all of the themes. And then you have to actually, um, you can either view them or there should be a download button as well um, in emulation themes. Um, once you download themes, you just hit start on your controller and the main, once you're in emulation station, it should go to UI and then go to, UI, to the main menu, then go to UI settings, and then uh, you could go to um, theme set and you can change it there. You can either hit left or right, or you can hit A on your controller and it will actually um, prompt you with another menu where you can actually see all your themes that are currently installed. Um, when you do install a theme, it might require a reboot of your Pi. Uh, to show the newer themes. But other than that, it should then, um, you know, that's how you change your theme. So let's look at what you can download. So you have the original Carbon theme. Back in the day, Ray's image, every, everything was on Carbon, unless you went into like a track mode, um, for the most part. Um, then you have a Carbon Centered, where instead the games are not on the right side there. If you look at the second one, the games are in the middle. Then you have Carbon, no meta. So this one means no metadata. So like when it talks about the, the game, the rating of the game, those things, how many players is the game, that information is removed. Um, you got simple here, and uh, that's where the box art would be. So look, you can just look at these and see the white page where the box art would be. And this is when you're in a particular system on the right side, a games list view, and this is like from the main system view. So finally, simple, they have a background, oh my God. Ba well, I mean, this one had a background too, but, um, and then you have more background starting some games, controller background, also known as color pie, then you have NBBA, nice little pink color. Um, then you have a simplified version. Um, you have turtle pie for, it's not really even Ninja Turtles, it's literally turtles. <laughs> and uh, Zoid, Pixel. I mean, this is, we're going, this is pretty old school. Let's just scroll because these ones are pretty outdated. If you like a really simple look, go for it. But I know a lot of you are pretty impressed by some of the newer themes. Future was one of my favorites back in the day. Um, then you have the NES Mini, which replicates the same front end that you would see on the Nintendo Classic. Then you have the Famicom, which is the Famicom Classic. Then you have the SNES Mini, which is based off the SNES Classic system as well. That one's really cool. When it came out, that was pretty cool um, because you basically could build your own mini SNES. And then you have your CRT's um, art book, art book 4-3 ratio. Um, so some of these, and that's a good point, that some of these will look better on depending on your aspect ratio of your pie. So keep that in mind, especially if you have a 4-3, some of these themes are more meant for you. Comic book was a really popular one. I have to say that this one, people were really excited about when it first came out. Um, then we have Hursty Blue. And the cool thing about Hursty Blue and why that one blew up was that was part of the uh, Motion Blue, which was a really slick base image um, that was created by uh, David Marty, and that was really cool. Uh, Showcase was another big one. 
Uh, Maximus Pi, I didn't see a lot of people getting into that one. Kids, now we're getting into a lot of Hursty's work here. Showcase, Kids, um, Big Wood. Uh, I now see, I don't, I know Magazine he made, Sterling he made, all these box alloys that Hursty made. I'm not sure about some of these in here, about who the creator is. Um, they should give the creator credit in here. They should say who made them. But um, they just tell you what it is. Um, so, anywho, the, uh, these were really cool. The Magazine Madness, the Synth, synth Ways, Synth Wave. Super Display, the cool thing about that was it's the first, it was kind of, not the first, but like, but you get the PlayStation Classic as well. But it was kind of the first, not, it, it was a vertical wheel. And, and you do usually saw all vertical, horizontal wheels for the most part. Uh, well, I guess Showcase, yeah, had a vertical wheel as well. Um, but vertical wheels started coming back into popularity, especially, like I said in the beginning of this video, that the um, kind of the attract mode kind of took the cake for hyperspin look. Um, so here we go. We keep going. Merry Christmas. I totally forgot about that one. Retro, retroroid, um, like a Polaroid, uh, comic card crazy and that one was cool Hersey actually made me and ETA Prime and Mad Little Pixel we actually had our own card which is really cool um, Darish Zone has done that with his image then he had like a Drew Tox pack that was kind of cool which isn't here um, Comic Crazy another really cool uh, theme so in case you're wondering there's Comic Crazy and you also like comics there's the one back here the comic book so both similar and they're both comic themed but two different the way they work and everything else then we have Snazzy. I believe that was also Hursty. And then we have Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Star Wars. Then we have Chris, Primo, Back to Basics, which looks a lot like Big Display if you go back to Big. And you'll notice that some of these are very are very similar. Oh, you got a Steampunk one. We kind of raise over that one. But it looks like Super Display, the one we were just looking at. Back to Basics. Retro Game News. Um, and now this one also has like a lot of, um, this is Hursty as well. This one has a lot of um, uh, Easter eggs in it as well. I, uh, soda can, where each of our soda cans. Blu-ray discs. Um, and then the Blu-ray, um, Wear Dirty Gaming made their own version of this as well, which isn't on this list, but um, some of the image creators like Wear Dirty Gaming now, now that we're getting into the really, really new stuff, um, some of the image creators like Word Dirty Gaming, Dar Zone, and Virtual Man, as you've seen on my channel before, they've also created their own themes and edited existing themes. So it gets even crazier. I don't think I've actually ever seen the Infinity one. I've never used that one before. Whitewood, I don't think I've used that one before either. I've seen Graffiti. Um, Boxicity, or Box City. Um, I haven't messed with that one that much. Vertical Arcade, pretty cool. I actually have this on my bar top. I have a vertical bar top from Game Room Solutions, and it looks really good. I like it a lot. Um, Cab Snavvy for cabinets. Garfield, Halloween. Hey Chromie. So this is one where it has a bunch of variations. There's like a Hey Chromie Terminator, a Hey Chromie Star Wars, Hey Chromie Aliens vs. Predators. And so some of these themes now have like multiple variants and that's becoming more and more popular. Um, uh, hey Chromie is one that definitely has that. And then there's a card one as well, the Super Sweet. Super Sweet has like 50 different variations to it. Um, Batman, negative color. As I'm going kind of faster now because there's just so many, as you're seeing. There's some portable ones. Um, Retro Rama. Let's talk about that. That one's really cool. And Space Oddity and Swine Apple. I'm, I think Stranger Stuff as well. These four are all made by uh, Felipe and really, really good. He actually colors these in himself. And um, really, really cool stuff. Shout out to him. Really good work. Like it a lot. Then there's a Wii, like a mini Wii thing. Uh, a Blade 360, Venom, Spider-Man, and Locomotion. Um, and look, they even have a tutorial now. So here's a few additional themes that I've thrown in there. Just really quick going through some of them. And um, we've come a really long way. Again, shout out to everyone, the RetroPie developers, for having the GitHub all set up and allowing people to mess with the code and you know keep the community growing um it makes for fun variation you can make your own you know retro gaming 
um, image and you can, you know, customize it. That's really cool. So shout out to all of them, you know, V-Man, Darstone, Hursty, David Marty, Felipe, um, all, I'm sure there's a lot of other people that I've never met or have never talked to me before that I'm just unaware that they made contributions to this stuff. So thank you, whoever you are. And, um, hope everyone's doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.